And that's singing in Spanish. I'm voting for Donald Trump. Hundreds of supporters for President Trump held a massive rally in Miami Dade today. We're only 16 days away from seeing who will win the White House. People rooting for Joe Biden also taking over the streets as early voting starts tomorrow. NBC6 reporter Laura Rodriguez is live in Tamiami Park with reaction from both sides. Laura. Well, Alina, major turnout as Election Day nears. The Trump caravan wrapped up about an hour ago. Supporters headed east away from Tamiami Park, and supporters of Joe Biden also held their own caravan in South Miami Dade around noon. Hundreds drove around Southwest Miami Dade to support President Donald Trump in a caravan organized by several grassroots organizations. This is something incredible. I was, and last week I was at the other caravan. There was over 30,000 people. And this time it must be double up. Before the caravan departed from Tamiami Park, supporters participated in a rally where Miami band Los Tres de La Habana performed their new viral hit. We've been here like a 13 year now. We are immigrants, we understand that, but we came from Cuba and uh, something that uh, even smell like a so socialism, we're going to be always far from that. Yeah. Earlier Sunday in South Miami-Dade, Democrats also mobilized their supporters. Politicians, teachers and clergy joined the Riding with Biden caravan that began at Second Baptist Church. As we know, that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will make sure that our public schools thrive, that our teachers get more money. With only 16 days left until Election Day, both parties are making a final push to get voters to the polls. At the Biden caravan, community leaders stress the importance of early voting. We need to vote in this election like our lives depend on it because this pandemic has made it clear that our lives absolutely depend on it. Again, early voting begins tomorrow. The last day is November 1st. Now, if you are wondering if there will be long wait times, the Miami-Dade County Supervisor of Elections website does have those wait times posted, and you could start checking them out tomorrow. Reporting live outside Tamiami Park, I'm Laura Rodriguez, NBC6 News.